Brian Greasy's not been a coach before. Mike Shanahan drafted Brian Greasy, and Brian Greasy played for him five years in Denver. Then he went to Miami, where his offensive coordinator, do you know his offensive coordinator was in Miami? Was a Niner OC once upon a time. Mm -hmm. Norv Turner. Okay, okay. Then he goes to Tampa in 2004, 2005, Gruden. where John Gruden's the head coach, and a quality control coach is? Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan. Then he goes to the Bears in 06 and 07, where the head coach is? Lovey Smith. Yeah, it doesn't really help us here. The <laughs> offensive coordinator, side note, Ron Turner, who was once the head coach at San Jose State, was the head coach at Illinois, who had worked as the OC in Chicago earlier, where the defensive coordinator was a man named Bob Slowick, senior, right? Juniors on Kyle's staff. Um, and Ron Turner, actually, trivia question, is the guy that followed Mario Cristobal at FIU. I, again, I, I was I went diving for connections, didn't really find any. Then he goes back to Tampa in 08, a staff that has John and Jay Gruden and Gus Bradley and Sean McVay and Raheem Morris. Then he retired after that year and eventually goes to ESPN and then Monday Night Football and now into the 49ers quarterback room. Yeah, to me, the connections, obviously, when the dad drafts him, I mean, Mike Shanahan, well, he's not quote-unquote officially on Kyle's staff. He's unofficially on Kyle's staff. And Kyle leans on him heavily. But Kyle was around this human being, right? Because when Kyle was a quality control guy, you're essentially the offensive coordinator's assistant. Well, who, the offensive coordinator was the head coach in John Gruden. Well, Brian Greasy was, you know, John Gruden's baby are his quarterbacks. So Kyle would have spent a lot of time around that guy. I think it's fair to say that they have known each other, the family. You know, Kyle knew him even before that. And then they got to spend literally a year together with Kyle and don't you imagine the last couple of years, like they talked when they did all these Monday night games, right? I, I, you know, does this happen without Monday night football and them kind of, I don't want to say rekindling, but just having some conversations, spending some time around each other. You, you never know. I was, I told you this before we hopped on my first year in Philly, Doug Peterson was hired. Now it's a little different because Doug, if you remember, he retired was off for a little bit and then he started coaching like high school in Louisiana. So he kind of got to scratch his itch to like be a high school coach. And I think he even said at the time I was cool with just doing that. I had made money. Like it wasn't like Andy calls him and he just jumped in. But here's the thing. When you're a quarterback, I'd say more than most positions, when you jump back in and I, Doug had to start, he had to be the quality control guy for a year before he got to be the quarterback coach. <laughs> But you know what you're getting into. You know it's not like, well, I just get to work uh, high school hours. Like he's, you're diving in to be the quarterback coach. You don't get to, even if you're rich or you had a sweet life before that, you're expected to work just like a normal worker, right? Yeah. Like w when Welker got into coaching, Welker just didn't get to work wide receiver hours, right? He had to work wide receiver coaching hours. So right. I, I respect, and I've said this about John Lynch, I said this about Doug when he got involved. Now, obviously... I'd say Brian Greasy, like Doug Peterson, you have a major leg up, right? It took the LaFleurs of the world and McDaniels. I mean, those guys did the coaching equivalent of digging ditches for years. If things go well for Brian Greasy, like if I told you Brian Greasy is a five a head coach in five years, is that inconceivable? Just, it, 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 you just got name, you got momentum. It's like, what if, you know, he could be the OC for Kyle in two years. Yeah. Not, not inconceivable. I would bet against that right now, but not inconceivable. I mean, because if I if I said no, John, that's not. If I said that's inconceivable, you'd say really name works for Shanahan, offensive coach, quarterback on TV, knows people. H how is that not going to? How is that guy potentially not going to get an opportunity? So Football I, family. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean that's the other thing. I wonder. I don't know this, but a couple of guys born in the late four, mid 40s early 50s from the midwest right mike shanahan and bob greasy know each other mike would have been scouting brian when bob bob would have been there right at michigan bob was calling some of the, bob called michigan's rose bowl so I, I mean there's no doubt that mike shanahan and bob greasy know each other on some level i don't know how well but there's two ways to look at it right i mean he's getting into coaching quote unquote late he's not that old you know he's, he's not 46. like 50 he's 46 yeah, not young, not young but I, you know, I, I, for, first of all, to your point, respect the willingness to dive into that work ethic. Um, probably well, he's taking, he's taking a pay cut. Yeah. And with Monday night football looking like it's going to go to somebody else and he's not well, he, going to be out. back on it. He's, he's out. Has, has that been officially announced? 
<clears throat> no, but he's Brian yeah. Greasy and Lewis Riddick are not coming back. I think that must. Yeah. So I, I, you know, if, if you if you use the last time ESPN demoted somebody from Monday Night Football as an example, Sean McDonough just went back to college football. I could see Brian Greasy going. I did college football. I jumped up to the NFL where there's half as many players, and I know them all by looking at their face. And I don't have to. It's just it's easy. It's the NFL. I'm not going back to. You know, we do some great games at ABC, me and Steve Levy, but I'm not going back to Waco for Baylor, Oklahoma, when um, I just did Monday Night Football. Maybe now's the time to jump and try something else. I think it is a little bit – I think it can be an indication of what coaches think of certain position jobs, positional jobs by who they hire. Like Kyle hired somebody extraordinarily inexperienced at coaching to be his QB coach. Now, Brian Greasy played quarterback in the NFL at a high level. But he has not coached before. He did something very different when he hired a running back, run game coordinator, and Anthony Lynn. Right? He hired somebody who he can leave alone. He knows he cannot knock on Anthony's door Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and when they get together for practice on Wednesday, Anthony Lynn's going to have run game ready to roll for him. Was the run game coordinator for the number one offense a decade ago with the Jets and Rex Ryan? You know, with those two Mark Sanchez teams, like he's run and and he's. You're right. He's coached for a decade and a half or whatever. You never got the sense that Kyle put a lot. That that Rich Scangarello, while he was an assistant, maybe he was more Kyle's assistant than he was an assistant coach with a lot of responsibility. Why does everyone hate Rich Scangarello? I don't know. I don't hate Rich Scangarello at all. Not, I'm but just I just feel like the Rich bias. Left. He was just a nobody. Well, you said it like months ago. You don't think he was any good? No, I did. I did. But it just it just feels like that momentum of just Rich. It, it, here's the one thing. People act like Rich going to Kentucky was like, this guy just went to coach uh, Davis High School. Well, like, you're Kentucky right. pays a million dollars. That is you're not right. a bad job. You're right. Right? Like, like ultimately, was Rich forced out? May, I mean, maybe. Like, Hightower, factually forced out. You, you do not leave the Niners for the Bears. Embry fired. Like, all these coaches, I, I saw David Lombardi act like all these coaches actively left. No, McDaniel actively left. Hightower got fired. Quote unquote, he left, right? Embry is fired. Reassigned. Well, 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 I think it's fair to say Welker, you know, maybe w- could have come back, maybe didn't. I think there were some reports they, they kind of butted heads throughout the season. That, that one's a little more up in the air. This one, even if Rich wasn't allowed back, his job, m- I think most people leave to go to the Kentucky Wildcats as Kyle's quarterback coach if they're not going to be the OC the next year. Yeah, you I get mean, more money that, and you get and part. you get to call plays. Which I think is an indication of the level of responsibility, financial respect, real respect, whatever that you had. I did take a shot at Rich because I'd heard that. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not taking a shot at him. I'm just saying I think Kyle hiring an inexperienced coach as his quarterback coach tells us that Kyle does a lot of the work there. And it, it's a good spot to go learn from Kyle. Victor on the stream says it's it's it, people are confusing it with a technique coach. That's not his job. I think it's an interesting point, too. A good point, too, right? Uh, as somebody said earlier in this, you sent him to John Beck for his uh, for his footwork. I I don't think I the story I'd heard about Scangarello is Scangarello was with the Niners, and then he went to go work with the Eagles and Doug Peterson. The guy that told me the story was on an elevator. Kyle Shanahan on the elevator. Doug and Rich get on the elevator. Rich had just left the Niners to go to the Eagles. He said we rode up like five or six levels. We were on the elevator for at least twenty seconds. Rich, who just came from the Niners, standing there with Doug and Kyle, they never said a word. He's like, I thought we just hired this guy. We thought we were getting a Kyle disciple, and they didn't even talk. He's like, it was a little bizarre. But he came <laughs> then back. He got, but then he did come back. They are represented by the same guy. Look, I, I'm, I'm intrigued by this. But I, I, all I'm saying is I think it tells us Kyle handles a lot of whatever that person's responsibility is. And I think your job is more to assist Kyle than it is to go do whatever it is that you do. And that's okay. That's that's a lot of positions are like that, especially when you're jumping into coaching. It's hard to find a spot like the one that the 49ers had available for Brian Greasy. 